All right, Rochelle, let's take a look at some of the top trending tickers here after hours. We have Lyft, Take Two, Activision, TripAdvisor, and Groupon. Let's kick it off with Lyft. We're looking at losses of nearly 13% after, after hours. Disappointing numbers here from the company. Active riders falling short of the street's expectations. Revenue also light. Stock off just around 13%. You can look at the last three months. You can see the stock under tremendous amount of pressure off just about 30%. Take Two Interactive, that stock off just about 15% active after hours. They lowered their guidance. Full year net bookings coming in a bit light for the recent quarter. Net bookings revenue also missing the street's expectations. Earnings a bit short as well. We're seeing the reaction after hours. Over the past three months, the stock is off just around 14%. A year-to-date look at this chart, you can see Take Two off nearly 40%. Its competitor, Activision Blizzard, faring a little bit better here, extended hours, barely holding on to gains. Net bookings beating the street's expectations. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, a lot of hype around this new game, the fastest selling title that the company has had in franchise history. They still see the Microsoft deal closing by the end of June year-to-date. The stock's actually in the green, up nearly 7%. Over the past three months, we're looking at losses, though, of nearly 12%. Take a look at TripAdvisor. You're seeing losses of nearly 15% after hours. Earnings missing the street's expectations. Companies saying that currency fluctuations was a massive headwind here for the quarter. Fourth quarter revenue showing a modest slowdown from the third quarter. We're seeing that reflected in after hours action. Over the past three months, the stock has been essentially flat, off just about a quarter of a percent. And wrapping up with the Groupon, off to nearly about 5% after hours. Sales plunging during the quarter. Revenue off 33% from a year ago. They're also saying that they are targeting an additional $50 million in savings by the end of 2023. You're looking at three-month losses of just about 45%. A year-to-date chart, losses even more, nearly 70%.